of new details are emerging in the arrest of actor Nathan Chasing Horse in North Las Vegas. The investigation spanning multiple countries involving federal investigators and tribal officials. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Abel Garcia. The arrest report for Chasing Horse just into our newsroom. Our reporter Sean Delancey has been looking through the documents. He joins us live now in studio and Sean, this report is pretty long. Yeah, Abel, this is it. 53 pages of details brought about by a months long investigation into Nathan Chasing Horse, who's now being accused of being a sexual predator across two countries and multiple states here in the U.S. According to the arrest report, Metro detectives first learned Chasing Horse was in Las Vegas when they got a call from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police that he was suspected of sexual assault in British Columbia. That kicked off a joint investigation here involving Metro, the FBI, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and the Fort Peck Tribe. Detectives say that investigation revealed Chasing Horse had, quote, abused his power and spiritual influence, end quote, by posing as a holy man or medicine man to groom vulnerable indigenous girls and women into sexual relationships over the course of several years. Nijone Widehat with the Native Voters Alliance says that to further exploit a culture that's been systematically erased for centuries this way makes these accusations particularly hard to handle. I'll never get to do certain dances or know how to wear these things. These things that should be mine are gone. And this guy is using that as a way to keep people, to, to trap them, to steal them, and his own people even, which is, it's just, it's a heinous crime. Now, detectives say a large portion of Chasing Horses operation happened within what they described as a cult originally based in South Dakota. It was called the Circle and police say Chasing Horse served as the head of that cult. Investigators believe Chasing Horse moved to North Las Vegas after Fort Peck tribe banished him for tribal violations. Right now, Metro Police say they've confirmed at least three victims in this case here in Clark County, but they believe more will come forward. He's facing two counts of sex trafficking, one count of sexual assault of a child under 16, child abuse, and sexual assault. Chasing horses due in court for the first time tomorrow afternoon. In the studio, I'm Sean Delancey. Sean, thank you.